course they will. Oh, certainly. Definitely. Absolutely, yes. Oh, absolutely. Mobile devices and mobile technology are changing everything. The whole world's being affected by mobile devices and higher ed IT. You can't escape the effects. Absolutely. Let me put it to you this way. Um, I think that uh, mobile devices are changing everything. I think mobile devices are changing every facet of our society and higher education and research are included in that. Yes, yes, I think they are. I mean, it's a, it's a whole new way of computing. The thing that I want to do is I want to understand how mobile devices can really meaningfully be used in the classroom, teaching and learning. And I want that to percolate through from the pedagogy point of view through to the IT. Students are coming equipped with their own mobile technology and they're expecting that the library in particular address their needs. Um, particularly, they're wanting to have all of the content of the library delivered directly to their mobile technologies. How are mobile devices being used in your particular field? So, in research computing, we're using uh, mobile devices for management software. So, our system administrator of the high performance computing resources can access the cluster from anywhere using his iPhone. So if there is an emergency, he can quickly use his iPhone to connect to the cluster, fix whatever needs to be fixed, and it doesn't matter where he is at the moment. So we started out with mostly with mobile web apps because we weren't sure exactly how the market was going to develop. Now, right now it appears to be sort of a two-horse race between Android and the iOS. And so between those two, we think we can manage two apps. You know, if it gets to be three or four, then that probably gets to be too fragmented where we just don't have the resources to be able to support all that. And we would probably revert more back towards a comfortable web experience. I've just bought iPads for all of my staff, uh, looking at how that might transform what, what we do. We're also starting to see these things affect the way we capture and remember things. Um, the omnipresent photographic or imaging um, technology is very powerful and there's stuff coming along now that allows sort of social imaging, the collection of imaging, mosaic them together. Those are all going to be important in education, but they all uh, also go beyond education. Um, a, a final thing I'd sort of mention that I'm very struck by, the so-called augmented reality kinds of applications where you can put labels or associate text or, or links with various things you see. We're going to see that move on to classifiers as well. Well, we're already seeing that in trivial kinds of things like, um, uh, you know, read a barcode sorts of things or the, um, the QR codes yeah. applications. But you're going to see things, I think, that will do things like, you know, what's that bird over there um, uh, within not very much time. Right.